Okay, what's it mean to, to uh, have everlasting life? Okay, first of all, let's read this. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that hears my word and believes on him that sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. All right, so by this verse right here, we can uh, close the case on uh, are we, uh, can we lose our salvation? No, we can't. If you have everlasting life, that means you live forever. And you can never lose your salvation, period. That case is closed, okay? Um, so I'm not going to say, if you are a person that says you can lose your salvation, I'm not going to say you're dumber than dog do. But I will say that you're lacking understanding and you're lacking faith. All right, so the, the biggest thing that I see out of these people is they think, oh, it's a license to sin if you believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Well, no, no. First of all, think about this. If you have everlasting life, why would you abide or continue in your sins? Don't you know that when you have everlasting life that you are set apart from the rest of the world? And you are going to live forever. So why would you continue in these things that you know yourself are not going to last forever? Okay, why would you make yourself uh, to appear the same as those that are not saved? Why would you make company with those people that are going to hell when you yourself are going to everlasting life? All right, so we should be... Um, focused on where we're headed. And I'm sure you're familiar with uh, uh, where your treasure is, so also is your heart, right? Um, so we should move on to perfection. I, I apologize. I'm going to have to look that up because I, I kind of said that goofy. So just give me a second here. Heart, treasure. Or where your treasure is, there will your heart be also, right? So if your heart is in heaven, if your heart is in everlasting life, why are you continuing uh, in, your, in your old ways, right? Um, it's, we should be growing and moving forward, not to the, you know, not looking back like... Uh, like Lot's wife, not looking back to our old selves, but moving forward uh, to where our destination ultimately is, right? And here in like uh, six, uh, Hebrews 6, 1, Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection. All right, so we're moving forward now to perfection. We're not looking back. We're not fixated on sin like so many of the unsaved people are that they just seem like sin and all that stuff is the measuring point it's not the measuring point at all and then also in philippians being confident of this very thing that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of jesus christ so we can be confident that we have the spirit of god in us that's going to lead us to perfection and we're going to get there all right, there's just no way around it. No matter how much you want to fight it and you want to get out of this deal, uh, you're already paid for, so you can't get out of it. You're stuck. You're going to have to live forever once you're saved. And so uh, if you think that's a bomb deal, I, I, I'm not going to say you're dumber than dog do, but I'm, I might say you're full of, I might say you're full of dog do. Right, but uh, just be confident and and stop worrying about your sin and just get away from your sin, right? And move forward into perfection. All right, pretty simple. Um, all right, I think that's it. Good enough.